Hi, I'm Namrata Purohit and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to engage your core muscles and get that flat tummy for the big day. It could be a wedding, it could be because you want to get into that little black dress or it could be just for yourself. Basically, we're going to focus on getting a flat tummy. So now, what, what I'm going to teach you first is what I mean by engagement of the core. So now, how do you activate the core? What I mean is first, a simple pulling in of the stomach, like you're sucking your stomach in. The second is your pelvic floor muscle engagement. So it's as if you're peeing and you stop peeing, a simple pulling up of those muscles, sucking it in, is what I mean by engagement of the core. To begin with, we're gonna start lying down on the mat. Keep your feet in front of you, knees bent, your feet should be about hip distance apart. So I don't want them too wide. I don't want them together. I want them just a little apart, hip distance apart. Then lie down onto the floor. Try and maintain the neutral pelvis of the spine. So this means that I want that slight curve in the back. I don't want you to sink into the mat because this tends to activate the glutes. I want you to stay nice and neutral, maintain this curve. Now the first exercise we're gonna do today is called the ab prep. What you have to do is engage your core, place your hands behind your head, inhale to stay, exhale, you're gonna just simply crunch up. It's as if there's a pencil under your rib cage. You're squeezing that pencil, inhale to go down. Hands behind the head, exhale up, maintain this neutral, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. So. Six, exhale up, seven, remember to keep your core engaged, keep pulling it in, eight, nine, exhale, ten, really pull your stomach in and you start to feel that burn, eleven, exhale, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, last five, five, exhale, four, exhale up, Three, inhale down. Two, and hold it there on one. Keep it contracted, engage the core. And we're gonna do small pulses, so just a small movement. Up, think of going up and up. Four, five, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Remember your neck should stay long so we don't want any jamming in, we don't want to leave the neck behind, it should stay nice and neutral. It's easy to remember by thinking of keeping your vision at your knees. The second exercise we're gonna do is called the obliques. Again, you just exhale to come up, inhale to maintain this position, exhale, rotate to one side, inhale to center, exhale to the other side, and center. Exhale, three, four, try not to belly dance here and rock, five, exhale, six, seven, ten, keep going, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Keep pulling your stomach in. Four, engage it. Come on, three, two, and one, and relax. Now when you feel these obliques, this exercise starts to get a little easy for you as you get stronger and stronger, you can take your legs up into a position called the tabletop position. So you keep your core engaged, take one leg up, take the other leg up, hands behind the head, and start, one, two, three, and exhale, four. So it's the same thing, but you're keeping your legs up in tabletop position. Now, if in this position, you find it hard to keep your back neutral and you feel like you're overextending, it's simple, you're not ready for it. So give it some time, start with your feet down and then go up to this position. Now we work the transfers of dominance, we work the obliques. Let's increase the challenge a bit. We're gonna start with our legs up this is the starting position, legs up in a tabletop position, hands by the side of the knees. This exercise is called the single leg stretch. Exhale, you come up, 
inhale to maintain it straighten one leg and switch two three exhale four five you can go as low as you can if you can keep your core engaged and not extend your back if you don't feel that strong stay a little higher do it at your strength and then progress i think i've done nine and ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one tabletop head down feet down in this, sometimes the tendency is to strain the neck. So if you're here and you feel like your neck is really hurting, you can put one hand behind the neck, keep the other hand here and just straighten and straighten. So you know you don't want to come in too much towards your chest. You keep it there as a reference and keep going so that you have support for your neck. So this is called the single leg stretch. Now I want you to keep your hands down by your side, head relaxed, take one leg to tabletop, Take the other leg off. We're going to do single leg circles. Straighten the leg up towards the ceiling. Ensure your knee is straight. Don't keep it bent. Don't be lazy. Work those hip flexors. Straighten the knee. And simply do small circle. Circle it around. Exhale. Two. Don't forget to breathe and keep your core engaged. Three. Four. And five. Reverse. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Change leg. There should be no strain in the lower back at all. Two, three, four, and five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tabletop. One foot down and then the other. Again, here it's important to keep the core engaged. Again, the tendency is to extend the lower back. If you do not keep your core engaged, if you do not pull your stomach in, you're going to start feeling it in your lower back, which we do not want. This exercise, you should only feel in your core, your abs, and a little bit in your hip flexor to keep that leg straight. The exercise we're doing now is called the ankle touches. As the name suggests, we're going to be touching our ankles with our hands. All you have to do is come up in that ab prep position that we did earlier. Hands are now down by your side. Inhale to stay here. Exhale, touch your hand to your ankle. Inhale, center. Exhale, two. Center, three. And center, four. Five. Exhale, six. Seven. Eight. Exhale, nine. 10, keep going, 10, feel the burn, 9, 8, keep your core engaged, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and relax. Now what we are going to do is my favorite Pilates ab workout, it's called the hundreds, it's the most famous ab workout in Pilates. What we are going to do is hold it, hold your core for 100 counts. Now there are a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. One is that your arms are going to be down by your side and you're going to be pulsing them. So it's as if there are small marshmallows under your palms and you're just pressing into those marshmallows. So I don't want big movements, I want small movements at the arms. So we're working the shoulders and the shoulder stabilizers. The second thing of course is that we're going to be crunched up. So we're going to be in this position. So you're pulsing your arms, you're going to be up. Think of that pencil under your ribcage, squeeze it. Neck should be nice and neutral, vision at your knees. This is the second thing. Now the third thing is the breathing. How do we breathe? So you're going to inhale for five counts. So, and exhale for five counts. If your abs are not very strong, we're going to do it with our feet down. So you're here. If you feel like you've achieved the strength, you're going to do it with your feet up here and pulse. And if you feel even stronger, you're going to do it with your feet out and pulse. Start with your feet down, progress to tabletop, progress to a 45 degrees. Okay, let's stay neutral. Hands down by our side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale up. And inhale to pulse. And exhale to three, 
4, 10, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 20, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 30, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 40, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 50, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 60, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 70, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 80, keep going, 4, 5, and out, 2, 3, 4, 80, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and out, 2, 3, 4, 90, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, and out, 2, 3, 4, 100, stay there, stay there, stay there, come up higher, and relax. So as you saw, with my feet down, it was very easy for me. As I went to tabletop, it got slightly harder. As I went to 45 degrees, it got even harder. So start slow, start with what you can do, and then progress through these positions. This is my favorite exercise that is excellent for the core. It's called the hundreds. So this is the last exercise for today. You're gonna start with your feet down. Again, hip distance apart. Hands straight ahead of you, keep your shoulders relaxed, make sure you don't tense it. Hands relax, exhale, roll down. Use your lower back and your abdominals to roll down. Inhale to stay there, exhale, rotate to one side. Hands down, hands up, center, other side. Two, and rotate, three. Exhale, four, keep your core engaged. Five, six. I love this one. Seven, keep going. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, and six. Feel it. Five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly roll up. Today we worked the abs really deep. If you've maintained the engagement of the core and kept your stomach sucked in the whole time, you'll be feeling the burn tremendously. These exercises can be done with different repetitions and as I showed a few modifications, you can keep your feet down on the mat, up in tabletop or 45 degrees depending on your strength level. So start slow, feel the burn, work it but don't overwork. Yes, this will definitely tone your muscles, but you also need to take care of your nutrition, eat well, incorporate some cardio in your routine, do these exercises and you will see that flat tummy coming.